In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about confidence intervals and margins of error. Typically, there's two different equations used. And we will use the one on the left, and I'll discuss that in this tutorial. And in another tutorial, I'll discuss how to use the second equation. The whole thing here is called the confidence interval. And the items to the right of the plus and minus sign is referred to as the margin of error. And I'll discuss those in some detail. I will discuss how this relates to the standard bell curve. I'll define each of these variables as well. I'll also put it, these variables into an example so you can see how it's applied. The first variable, x bar, means the mean, and it fits right in the middle of the bell curve. Now there's an operators, it's the plus and minus sign. The plus sign, of course, means addition. And the negative sign means subtraction, or the minus sign. The funky little z there is called the confidence coefficient, and I define that in another video in some detail. The dot is used for multiplication. The orange symbol is called sigma, and it stands for standard deviation. And finally, the N is for sample size. And I try to be consistent with the color all the way through the video as well. It turns out this equation can be broken down into two separate equations, one with the plus sign and the other with the minus sign. So we have the mean plus the margin of error, and the mean minus the margin of error. Now I'm going to let me build this and put this back together into one equation. Again, this is called the confidence interval. Now I'm going to do an example. In my example, mean is equal to 80. Standard deviation is equal to 20. Sample size is 100. And the confidence coefficient is 1.96 for a 95% confidence level. I have several videos that talk about the confidence coefficient. So the first thing I'm going to do is calculate the margin of error. So the margin of error is equal to 1.96 times 20 divided by the square root of the sample size, which is 100. 1 1.96 is the confidence coefficient, 20 is the standard deviation, and 100 is the sample size. This is equal to 1.96 times 20 divided by 10, which is the square root of 100. This is equal to 1.96 times 2, and it's equal to 3.92. This is the margin of error. So now I want to calculate the confidence interval. So the confidence interval is equal to the mean, which is 80, plus or minus the margin of error. So it's 80 plus or minus 3.92. So now I'm going to calculate the lower bound, which is 80 minus 3.92, which is equal to 76.08. Now I'm going to calculate the upper bound, which is 80 plus... 3.92, and this equates to 83.92. The margin of error is 3.92, and I'll put that into the table. The lower bound is 76.08, and the upper bound is 83.92, the upper bound of the confidence interval. Now, when I draw in the bell curve, and all the green area there represents 100% of all possibilities, so I'll put 100% in. But since I want 95% under the bell curve, I have to shave off a little bit from each side of the bell curve. And the red area combined represents 5% or 2.5% for each side of the bell curve. 
Now I can take that 1.96 and put it there where that black line is. And on the other side, I can put 1.96 as well, but it turns out that's negative 1.96 because it's to the left of the mean. And in the middle, or the mean, I'm gonna put zero. It turns out these scores are the Z scores. And again, I discussed that in another video. 80 is the mean, it's the value. 83.92 is the upper bound. And the lower bound is 76.08. This line here, coming in right now, should be right there, that line, is the confidence interval, that distance right there. I will put the 95% back in right there. So we conclude, you are, you are 95% confident the population mean is between 76.08 and 83.92. So in this tutorial, I discussed confidence intervals. I also discussed how to calculate a margin of error. I showed you how this related to a bell curve. And hopefully now you're familiar with each of these little variables and operators and kind of not as afraid of them as you once were.